It's Monday. Happy Monday. Come on, guys. Let's get it. Let's get to it. All right. It's a new week. It's a new day. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're going to talk about your environment for success. All right. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. All right? Yes. Be rejoiceful and grateful that you are above the ground, okay? That you still have breath in your lungs because somebody today, unfortunately, did not wake up. But as long as you're here on God's green earth, you have a purpose. Yes, you have a purpose and an assignment. You have meaning, baby. All right, so rejoice and be glad in it. Everybody that's successful always talk about how they get up and talk about how they meditate and, you know, even if they're not Christian, they write down in a gratitude journal. All right? Have gratitude. There's something to be grateful for. Okay? There's always something to be grateful for. I don't care what your circumstances is. It's always something to be grateful for. And this is a lesson that I had to learn. All right? So believe me, I'm preaching to myself. Okay? Because I'm not perfect either. Well, anyway, I want to talk about having an environment for success. All right? One of the things that I had to learn in my journey and even before I did the weight loss journey was setting myself up to win. Remember, I talked about this back a few months ago on the treadmill about setting yourself up to win. What does your environment look like? You know, first when you think about what you really want to do, you can't just say, oh, that would be nice to do that. No, you have to sit down and you have to think about that vision, write it down on paper, and then you, once you do that, you got to start setting yourself up to win by changing your environment. What does your environment look like? Do you have a whole lot of negative people around you? You're going to have to cut them off, baby. You're going to have to cut them off. You know, we tell our children all the time, don't hang out with Susie, don't hang out with Curtis or anybody that, you know, that will corrupt them, you know? Because you know from experience, you'll hang around that negative person at your job that love to cuss and complain about the job, and then you may find yourself cussing more. You know, I've, I've, I've had that happen to me before. I'm like, I don't talk like this while well, all of a sudden I cuss more or start using words, vulgar words I don't usually use because I started hanging around that friend, that new friend that loved to cuss. All right? You got to be careful who you surround yourself around. If you're around a lot of people that are complacent with their life, you know, they not trying to move ahead. They not trying to, uh, like for instance, we're getting our health right, right? The last person you should hang around is someone who love to eat like you used to eat. If they love junk food and you were a junk food addict like I was, Baby, you're going to have to learn to love them from a distance. You can't hang around people who do the habits that you used to have. 
You know, you can love them, but you're going to have to distance yourself from them. You can't hang out with people that drink and you used to drink. Because you're not going to influence them. They're going to influence you to go backwards. The Bible talk about this all the time. You know, you can't hang around people that have the old habits that you used to have. You know, and one thing that I like to, you know, if, if, if someone hired me as a coach, I want to know your goals before we even start talking about a weight loss strategy. I want to know where your head is. You know, are you doing this for vain reasons? Or are you doing this because you're trying to improve your life and your health? Now, it's okay to want to improve your looks. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, I'm down for that. I love improving my looks too. But in order to be set up to win this battle against your health issue, it's going to have to be more than just looks to be able to sustain you. You got to have some deep goals, some life changing goals. And that's going to include sometimes getting rid of people in your life that's in your environment. And I know you have to work with certain people, but you won't have to go to lunch with them. You don't have to go to dinner with them. And you certainly don't have to be on the phone or social media with them. All right? Remember, the goal is to set yourself up to win. You have to change your environment. And some people are not going to agree with your goals and where you're going. They can't go with you with where you're going. You can pray for them and pray that they have the same change and maybe watching you will help them change. But you can't help nobody until you help yourself first, baby. And I had to learn that myself because when I would try to help people and I wasn't trying to help myself like my family, they pulled me back instead of me pulling them forward. So you got to rescue you first, but you got to change your environment first. You know, you say you want to get the weight off. Well, what's in your pantry? What's in your refrigerator? The first thing I had to do was to go through my pantry and throw away all trigger foods. You can't have that in your house. If you're a sweet lover, you can't have sodas and cookies and brownies and stuff in your house. And then, you know, you can't make excuses saying, oh, but I got this for the children. No, because they, if they have a weight problem too, they might not need to eat that either. You're going to have to have a conversation with your spouse and your whole household. And let them know, mama can't have this stuff, you know? You want to have this stuff? You want to have a snack at school? All right? Give you some ice cream money. All right? Uh, husband, you like to eat snacks? All right, go to the convenience store and get your snack. But don't bring it in the house, you know? You're going to have to put your foot down, you know? A wise woman builds her house. And a foolish one tear it down. It starts with you, woman of God. It all starts with you. My family ate junk food because I ate junk food. When I stopped eating junk food, they stopped eating junk food. So it starts with you. Take a stand and change your environment. I love you guys. Remember, you can look at my videos at YouTube, at Kingdom Queen Talk. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Kingdom Queen Talk. And I'm going to have another one Instagram just for me traveling. Lady Tate at Kingdom Queen Life. I love you guys.
You have a happy Monday, and I'll see you next Monday on Raw Treadmill Talk. I may do a walk outside with you with my glory walk this week. We'll just have to see how I feel and how the weather is, okay? I love you guys. It's been 10 minutes. I got to go. If you can think it, you can see it. And if you can see it, you can be it, baby. Go ahead and become everything that God has created you to become. You got purpose, baby. Remember that. Remember also one vision and one decision can change your whole destiny. And I'm a living witness. All right. I love you. Have a wonderful day.